Today we will see how we can implement WebSockets in a Nest.js application. WebSocket is a protocol that allows client to server and server to client communication in real time. Usually it is used with uh, real time chat applications. Today we will see how we can implement this in a Nest.js application because it is not as straightforward as we might think. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to install these dependencies. There are two dependencies. First one is the nest.js slash websockets and the second one is the platform. Uh, in this example, we are using the platform socket.io. So to implement websockets, there are two available platforms. In the documentation, you can see we have socket.io and WS. As socket.io is the most popular one, we are going to use that platform. So to summarize, you have to first install these two dependencies. So we have an example Nest.js application here. We can just add the following command and it will just work. Okay. But before I do that, I want to mention one very important thing. If you are adding WebSockets to an existing Nest.js application, you have to be very careful. Otherwise, you will receive some errors. For example, this Nest.js core, Nest.js common, uh, these dependencies, you can notice it's 9.3.9. .9. But it was previously 9.0.0 .0 when I created the application. But when I installed this uh, socket.io and websockets dependency, they were on the latest version, which is 9.3.9, .9, which caused some errors. So make sure that all of these versions match. If you have to upgrade or downgrade something, please do that. Otherwise, you will face some weird errors. So that's the first thing. You have to install the dependencies. Second thing, you have to create a gateway. So websocket is um different in a way you will have a rest api gateway and you will have a uh, websocket gateway both in the same application okay so to do that what we can do let me show you the code for the gateway i have created i have put it under a common folder uh, inside it we have gateway and for this we have events dot gateway okay uh, here you can see I have annotated it as WebSocket Gateway and I have allowed the course to be true for uh, this is not good for security reasons here you will usually do something like this HTTPS uh, then the link that you want to allow okay so for now I have added course true it will allow all of the front-end servers or the front-end applications to connect with my WebSocket server really easily here you can see I have implemented two interfaces on gateway connection and on gateway disconnect these are two the two functions that I need to implement it's just uh, plain and simple uh, functions maybe we can change the name here successfully disconnected from server right so we have a handle connection it will trigger when a client connects to our WebSocket server and handle disconnect will get triggered when the client disconnects from our server i have put in the websocket server here it's uh, for a special reason because in order to use our websocket or emit some events we need this websocket server in our later uh, use cases so that's basically it this is just an example where we are showing how we can use the message body or the connected socket or the connected socket client directly so don't worry about this for now the summary is you will have a gateway that will implement some class these are optionals the most important thing is you have to mark this class or annotate this class as a web socket gateway here you can mark the port as well so if you want a different port than your application port then you can mark the port here as well but i am not doing that for now the next step you have to export or you have to be able to uh, so the summary of and uh, the main use case of a websocket server is you want to emit some events right you want to listen to some events or you want to emit emit some events so for listening to some events you have this method subscribe message events so whenever any client sends or emits an event a new event let's say this is a new event right so whenever any client emits a new event this function will get triggered and if the client sends some data you will receive the data inside this message body okay so that's the listening from the server part but what if you want to emit an event from your uh, websocket server the first way is here you can see we have the client here so you can just client.emit 
let's say another new event dot and uh, you have sent the data with it as well so the two main use cases are covered here we are uh, firstly we are listening to the events and secondly we are emitting the events the third use case is maybe you want to emit events from somewhere else right not necessarily you are listening to the events all the time maybe you want to emit events from somewhere else to do that you have to first go to this common module and be careful you have to uh, register it as a provider on some module it can be any module i have uh, registered it as uh, in inside this common module and i want to use this websocket client or websocket server in some other modules uh, to do that here is an example module clip module where i am importing this events gateway as a provider and then whenever inside any clip service i am importing this events gateway inside the constructor and this event gateway then i accessing this websocket server and emitting some message so now you understand why i have kept this variable websocket server in this events gateway so this is optional this is only required when you need to emit events from some other class that is not necessarily inside this websocket gateway class okay so we are accessing the events gateway then accessing the server and this websocket server is basically your websocket client or something like that and you are emitting some messages here right so that's basically it that was it uh, it was the uh, brief introduction of how you can create and web socket uh, how you can implement the web socket server inside a nest js application hope you learned something new today thank you so much see you in a later video